something new um, to, to Cargill and has been an important core tenet of who we are. And what we looked at is the role that technology continues to play in our industry where, you know, four or five years ago, they looked at um, a lot of the different industry segments and, and food and agriculture was at the lower end of some of the technological advancements. And I think what, what we recognized at that point is we have to think about the way that um, the role Cargill plays in the entire food and, and agriculture ecosystem. How can we think differently about the ways to bring that to life? And so as we did this, what we what we recognized is, is that if we can leverage, you know, the the access that we have to the markets, the access to our subject matter expertise, building some of these startups in-house was actually not that big of a, a stretch for us. And it was really important for us then to, to really execute on finding the right type of talent um, and, and developing these with the, our customers at the, the forefront of everything that we do. So essentially, would it, would it be right to say that essentially uh, what Cargill is doing is, is getting into the food VC business? So I think the, the nuanced difference for us is that we're actually developing these in-house. And so what we're looking to do is develop um, entrepreneurs, we're developing uh, uh, software engineers, um, really a, a whole host of talent that we've continued to, to bring into to Cargill and into our business and really partner them alongside of some of those experts and in those markets and really start to grow that. Uh, and so in our case, what we're doing is really developing those um, and, and launching those into the market inside of Cargill launching them into the market inside of Cargill. So does that mean, Eric, that if this is a form of corporate of venture capital, as Martin alluded to, then does that imply that you're going to fold these startups into the broader Cargill uh, collective at some point? Yeah, I think I think what we're looking at is how can we continue to grow some of these things and, and incubate them in, the, in the, some of the hardest stages of, of when a startup is at, at the idea to, you know, kind of that that point of um, what what the outside external world would consider Series A. And in that time, you have the most amount of churn of the ideas continuing to develop and grow. And so what we want to be able to do is bring that and develop that in house. And then at that point, we want to be able to make decisions on, on where we want to launch those, whether that's into the external world, whether that's fold that into some of our existing businesses within Cargill and continue to grow that. I think this is where we want to create the flexibility, which is a very different model than maybe we've seen in you know, some traditional corporate innovation. And, and I think that's a really uh, been an impactful part of how do we, how do we continue to drive that uh, in, our, in the markets where we play. So 